Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about GCA level math with straight line graph. And first, I will go through some of the concepts first and then we'll start doing some questions together. Okay, so before we move on doing some questions, let's go through the concept first. And basically, um, all you have to know about this chapter is gradients m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and y equals to mx plus c. And that's actually pretty much all you have to know. Yeah, so the first part here is already the gradient and second part is the equation for straight line. Okay, so for the part three, basically it's same as part one because um, the equation here is actually same as here. The equation, let's say y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Basically, if you divide both sides by bracket, x minus x1 would be y minus y1 over x minus x1, which would be m. So part one and part three are the same. And for the part four, parallel line have the same gradient. Yeah, so the same gradient is means the same slope. And for the part five, if a line has a gradient m, then the line perpendicular to it has a gradient of minus one over m. Yeah, so uh, let's say if I have a graph, let's say if I have a graph that has the gradient of negative two, okay? The gradient for this line is negative two. And if the other line that is perpendicular to it would be m equals to one over two. And the two line meets at 90 degree. So if these two lines are perpendicular, then this one here would be 90 degree. Easy way to remember it. Perpendicular to the original gradient would be swapping the numerator and the denominator and then times the whole thing by negative one. This is how. Yeah, when you get the gradient, let's say um, the original gradient is negative 2, right? So negative 2 would be equals to negative 2 and 1. So if you swap these two value, the numerator and the denominator um, would be minus 1 over 2, right? And minus 1 over 2 times negative 1 would be the gradient for the perpendicular line to the original gradient. And there's one more thing that you also have to know is part 7 here. If you want to find the distance d between two coordinates, you will have to use this formula here. And this formula, how can you get this? It's basically Pythagoras theorem. So let's say this one is, this one is y and this one is x. So let's say if I want to find the distance between this two point here, this one will be x1 and y1, and this one will be x2 and y2. And how can you know the length between this line and this one here? So this line here would be y square minus y1, right? Because this point subtract this point y coordinate, because this one here is higher. And this the length between the x coordinate would be x2 minus x1. So basically, if you use the Pythagoras theorem, the distance d would be d square equals to x square minus x1 square this line square plus this line square will be equals to d square and from there d would be equals to roots x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square and this is how you get the formula to find the distance between two points and for the for the part nine here Part 8 is um, solving the solution. So if there are two lines crossing each other, all you have to do is to use the simultaneous equation to solve the x. So let's say y equals to 2x and um, y equals to x plus 1. If you want to find the point that these two lines are crossing each other, just substitute this y back into this y here and would be equals to 2x equals to x plus 1. And just solve the x and you can get the points where they intersect each other. Okay, so for the part nine, two quantities are in 
direct proportion when they increase the same rate and the graph of these quantities is straight line through the origin okay so origin is zero and zero um there are actually quite a few examples let's say y equals to uh, 2x or y equals to 1 over 2x so basically it's y equals to kx and when y is equals to 0 and x will be also equals to 0 as well yeah and that's pretty much it for for the concept that you have to know in order to do the questions okay let's start off with um questions one in the review exercise questions and this question has actually from page 226 in the textbook so in this questions they want us to find the equation of the line which pass this two point a and b and they want us to write in a form of ax plus by plus c equals to zero okay so the equation of line would be y equals to mx plus c so first thing we have to do is to get to find the m first m would be equals to y square minus y uh, sorry y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and how do we know um which point would be y2 and which point would be y1 it actually doesn't matter okay so if you want this one to be y2 okay then this one must be the x2 and if you want this one to be y1 then this one must be x1 okay so let's say there are two points okay a2 8 and b4 6 okay so doesn't really matter which one is y y2 or y1 okay if i let's say this one here is x1 and y1 and this one here will be x2 and y2 okay so this one here will be y2 okay and y1 doesn't doesn't really matter you can swap the other way around okay so m would be equals to 8 minus 6 over negative 2 minus 4 which would be 8 minus 6 would be 2 over negative 2 minus 4 would be negative 6 so it would be minus 1 over 3 and the gradient would be minus 1 over 3 so it will be going downwards the slope would be going downwards so y would be equals to minus 1 over 3 x plus c from there you can substitute any x or y into this equation here so let's say um just pick one point okay let's say if i pick b okay if i pick b point so when x is equals to 4 y would be equals to 6 when y equals to 6, x will be equals to 4. So if I substitute back this 2 into this equation here, I will get 6 equals to minus 1 over 3 times 4 plus c would be 6 equals to minus 4 over 3 plus c. c would be equals to 22 over 3. And from there, I will just substitute back this c into this value here. So y would be equals to minus 1 over 3x plus 22 over 3. Now, I'm going to times both sides, this side, left and right, by 3. Okay, so it would be 3y equals to minus x plus 22. And from here, I will get, if I plus 1x from both sides, let's say um, 3y plus x and minus 22 equals to if I plus this value here, both sides, minus x plus 22 plus x minus 22. So this one here would be 0. 3y plus x minus 22 would be equals to 0. x plus 3y minus 22 equals 0. So a, b, and c. Here you go. a would be 1, b would be 3, and c would be minus 22. Okay, let's move on to the next question. And this question has also from the same page as the previous question, which is page 226. Okay, so in this question, they want us to also find the equation of line L in the form of AX plus BY plus C equals to zero. Okay, so all we know that is the line will pass through 9 and negative 4, right? X, Y. And the gradient is 1 over 3. Um, there's actually two way that I will do, but this two way are actually similar. It will came out with the same answer, but um, slightly different. Okay, so um, first I will use the method that is taught by the textbook. So here it is. We can use y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. And this formula here is actually 
back in um, the part three in the concept that we have just went through. Okay, so um, next step would be we have to substitute. Okay, so let's assume this is y1 and x1. We have to substitute um, minus 4 into this value here and 9 into this value here. And m, of course, here. y minus negative 4 equals to 1 over 3 x minus 9. Next step would be y plus 4 equals to 1 over 3 x minus 3. And next step, plus 3 for the both sides. So y plus 4 plus 3 would be y plus 7. And 1 over 3x minus 3 plus 3 would be 1 over 3x because um, if this one here plus 3 would be 0. So the next step would be times the whole thing by 3. So 3y plus 21 equals to x. From there, x minus 3y minus 21 equals to 0. So this one here would be in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So a will be. 1 and b would be negative 3 and c would be negative 21. Okay, so um, here is the method that is taught by the textbook, but here's my method. It's actually similar because um, during the exam, every time when I see this kind of, um, see this type of questions uh, about straight line, I would immediately think of y equals to mx plus c and m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so um, back to this question here. All we know that is m equals to 1 over 3. So all I have to do is to y equals to 1 over 3 x plus c. And we all know that y and negative 4, right? So when um, it, x is equals to 9 and y will be equals to minus 4. So uh, if we substitute back this two value into this, okay, x equals to 9, y equals to negative 4. Okay, substitute back into this equation here. Negative 4 equals to 1 over 3 times 9 plus c. Okay, negative 4 equals to 9 divided by 3 would be 3 plus c. And c would be, if I subtract both sides with 3, would be negative 7 and just c, negative 7. Okay, so we all know that c would be negative 7, right? If I substitute this value here back into this value, y would be 1 over 3x minus 7 and times the whole thing by 3. 3y equals to x minus 21. And from there, y minus 3y, I just move this value here to the right, minus 21 equals to 0. Similar method, but slightly different, can also get the same answer. Okay, let's carry on with next question. This question here is also from page 226 in the textbook. Okay, so in this question, um, they want us to find two possible value of k. So um, either this value here or here. The key points in this question is line on the same straight line. So what does that mean? Basically, the gradient of AB will be equals to the gradient of BC. Okay, so how can we get the gradient of AB? Let's assume that this one is y2 and y1, x2 and x1, okay? 5 minus 3 over k minus 0 would be 2 over k. And how about the gradient for bc? Let's assume that this one is y2, y1. It actually doesn't matter. You can choose either this one is y2 or this one is y2. Uh, but I will just pick this one is y2. Equals to 2k minus 5 over 10 minus k. From there, we have two equation of m, right? All we have to do is to match these two things up. This equation here will be equals to this one here because um, they are having the same gradient. So um, it should look something like this. And the next step here is to times both sides by 10 minus k and k. So this is how it works. From there, we can see that um, the numerator and the denominator are the same, so we can cancel these two out. And here as well, k and k. So after simplify that, 
k times 2k minus 5 would be equals to 2 times 10 minus k. Next up would be 2k squared minus 5k equals to 20 minus 2k. From there, let's plus 2k for the both sides, okay? So 2k squared, if minus 5k plus 2k would be minus 3k. And minus 2k plus 2k would be 0. So plus 0. Or you can choose not to write it. And next step is to subtract uh, both sides by 20, which would be 2k squared minus 3k minus 20 equals to 0. And now um, you will have to find the critical value of k. And this equation here can be written as 2k plus 5 times k minus 4 equals to 0. Therefore, k will be equals to minus 5 over 2 or 4. And this is how you get the two possible value of k. Okay, let's do one more question here from the um, review exercise questions and then we'll take a break. After that, we'll do some past paper questions. This question here is also from uh, page 226 as well. And in this question, they want us to find the distance of the point from the origin and given your answer as a cert in its simplest form. Okay, so basically I got two lines here, y equals to 2x and 5y plus x minus 32 equals to 0, and they intersect at the point P. So all we have to do now first is to get the point P first, okay? So when y equals to 2x and 5y plus x minus 33 equals to 0, substitute this value into this y here first. Next up would be 10x plus x minus 33 equals to 0. 11x minus 33 equals to 0. Plus 33 for both sides. 11x equals to plus 33. x will be equals to 3. And when I substitute back this value x here into 2x would be, y would be equals to 6. Therefore, the point P would be 3 and 6. Let's say this one is x and this one is y. And point P is somewhere around here. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. And they want us to find the distance from the origin to that point P. Okay, so um, the equation for the distance is d equals to roots y2 minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square from there d would be equals to let's say this one is y2 and the origin zero is y1 okay so um six square plus three minus zero three square equals to 36 plus 9 would be 45 and 35 would be equals to root 9 times root 5 equals to 3 root 5. There are actually another way that you can see the distance d is this one here is 3 and 6, right? This one here, the x coordinate is 3 and the height is the y coordinate would be 6. So if this one is 3 and this one is 6, you can also use the Pythagoras theorem to solve the d. Okay, let's take a break now, and then we'll move on to do some past paper questions.